Greetings and salutations everybody, Lord X here coming at you with a pickups video. That's right, I haven't done one of these in a while, and I'm actually recording this one at 1 a.m. in the morning, because I'm batshit crazy, and I just need to do something to get my mind off of things. But anyways, yes, I'm here with a brand new pickups video. I didn't do one last month, so we're combining both May and June into one video this time. That's right, you're going to see the pickups. That I got in May and the stuff I got in June. And I've got a ton of stuff here. The comics alone, like a stack that thick. So we got a lot of stuff to go over. So let's start things off the way I start off every pickup video with the digital games that I picked up in the month. If I can find my right, right notepad here. Okay, here we go. So digital stuff. First off, Uncharted 4. That's right, for the first time ever. Ever, I think I bought an Uncharted game digitally outside of the collection. I bought the collection digitally too, but I don't care with that. But yeah, I bought this digitally for the first time. Um, I knew May was going to have a, quite a bit of stuff, so I think I bought this near the end of April, uh, mid April, I think. And I was glad I did because I got to play it that night when it released at 1 30 a.m. here in Newfoundland. And god damn, that game is great. Leaps and bounds right now. It is my game of the year, definitely. So, yeah! Two thumbs up for Uncharted 4. Next digital game that I got Wild Arms 3 on the PlayStation 4. I love the Wild Arms RPG series. I think they are excellent. They are awesome. And, yeah, that was just fantastic. Alright, uh, so yeah, Wild Arms 3. Got that. Fucking awesome. Absolutely awesome game. Uh, if you've never played it before, highly recommend it on the PlayStation 4 right now. Uh, next, I got the ba Banner Saga. Uh, I got that off one of the sales, uh, under $5 sale, I believe. Along with that, I got the Golf Club, which has been a relaxing, awesome game. I go back to it every now and then. Uh, played it a lot when I first got it. Um, next up, Downwell for the PlayStation 4 and the Vita. Very, very, very good game. Like, that is a awesome game. I highly recommend it. Uh, next up, another RPG favorite of mine. Awesome game, Dark Cloud. Uh, I picked up two and that went up right away. Uh, I waited on the first Dark Cloud. Uh, again, it went on sale, so I nabbed it. And along with that game, I also picked up Ark the Lad, Twilight of the Spirits, another PS2 on PS4 game. Never played that Ark the Lad game, so I'm curious to see how it is. Um, but yeah, fucking love it. I love how Sony is putting so many of these uh, old school PS2 games onto PS4 now. Especially some of these hard to get RPGs like Dark Cloud and uh, Wild Arms 3. Like, that is fantastic and it's so cool. I mean, never find the time to play them. <laughs> Uh, next up on the Digitalist, this is moving into June now by the way, uh, the physical games, I'm going to go all over the place with those, but I picked up a three month subscription to PlayStation Now, been enjoying that, uh, technically the only game I've really played through that yet, aside from like a game of Jeopardy, a game of Wheel of Fortune, I know this sounds boring, but there's a lot of good shit on there too, and if you're looking for an easy platinum trophy, like I was, Barbie and her sister's puppy rescue. I have no shame. Uh, moving on, the digital games that I picked up actually, Tomb Raider Definitive Edition. Uh, I loved it on PS3, it went to under 5 bucks, so I nabbed that. Dragon Age Inquisition, I think that was $5.99, why the fuck not? I really loved the first Dragon Age, didn't like to, 6 bucks. I'll, I'll give Inquisition a shot finally. Uh, and Darksiders 2, Definitive Edition, I picked that up. Wasn't a big fan of the first game, never played the second one, so boom, here's my chance to do so now. Uh, next up, I bought XCOM Enemy Unknown Plus on the Vita, and tomorrow's Glitch Dave Gaming Podcast, when that goes up, or if I get this video up before that video, or vice versa, I'll explain, like, just go look up Glitched Out Gaming Podcast episode 44, 
when it goes up or if it's already up. Because I talked about that game there and what happened blew my mind. I'll just leave it at that. If you want more, go to the Glitch Tape Gaming Podcast. Uh, I picked up Mad Max on PS4. That went on super cheap. And I was like, wow, I'm going to pick up Mad Max now because I really want to play that game. Uh, I picked up The Walking Dead and Michonne for PlayStation 4. Uh, it was under 5 bucks, so I've been wanting to play it because I like The Walking Dead games by Telltale. Just this one really had no interest for me to pay it full price, so I'm looking forward to playing that. Uh, I also got Lego, 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 Lego Jurassic World on the Vita. I've been playing a bit of that. I'm enjoying it. It's going to be a fun game to continue playing on the Vita, I think. And finally, I got Steins Gate. Sky, Steins, Steins, Steins Gate, Steins colon Gate. I've heard many good things about that visual novel. I'm looking forward to playing it. I have it downloaded on my Vita. It's going to be played very, very soon. So there you go. That's the game. Doom! How did I forget to add this into the video when I recorded it? I actually got a copy of Doom as well. Didn't pay for it. Got it for free through a uh, Best Buy Rewards Twitter account thing that they do here in Canada. Yeah, they gave me a free copy of Doom during E3 week when I replied to one of their... uh, Twitter question, so that was awesome, and Doom is fucking brilliant. So much fun. Alright, let's get back to the normal video now, shall we? Or digital games that I pick up in the month, but I got a ton of physical games as well. We're gonna start things off with the only 3DS. Ooh, I just dropped a bunch on the floor. <laughs> awesome. I will pick that up now in a second. But uh, the first game I got here. Codename Steam for the 3DS. I really wanted to play this because it echoes XCOM a lot. It's turn-based, you're fighting aliens, and you're using former presidents of the United States like Abraham Lincoln. Wow. And, uh, yeah, so I'm looking forward to playing this. I got this for five bucks. EB Games put it on sale for $4.99 plus tax. Had to get it while it was on sale. And the other Nintendo game I got is another one I talked about for a decent bit on the uh, newest episode of the Glitch State Gaming Podcast, episode 44. Tokyo Mirage Sessions, hashtag FE, special edition, days in its glory. This came with an art book, soundtrack, there's art cards, and a sticker sheet as well. Um, I'm not going to go into depth depth on this if you want to look up what the art book. I got it here. I might as well pop it open for you. Here's the art book. Really fancy cover, you know. There's a shot of the inside. I'll just leave it at that. But I've been enjoying the game. I think it's really, really cool. Uh, The soundtrack I won't bother showing you there. Pretty simple. There's the sticker sheet. Really cool. Uh, The main cast of characters. And same track seemed like a little design packaging there as well. So there you go. Very cool. Probably the last big game I'll actually buy on the Wii U. Unless I, you know, pick up Captain Toad down the line if that goes on for cheaper. Which it probably will because Nintendo's saying fuck you to the Wii U. Alright, so let's dive into the PlayStation goodness now, shall we? After I pick this game up. Alright, let's start off with the world's best handheld in my opinion. And that is uh, the Vita. First off here, I've got Dungeon Travelers 2. And as you can see, normal price, $54.99. EV Games had it on sale for $19.99. I have never played a Dungeon Tales game. Dungeon, uh, Dungeon Tales, Dungeon Travelers 2. The Royal Library and the Monster Seal. And the tagline for the game is Seal Monsters, Save the World, and Get the Girls. Plural, plural on the girl part. So I'm looking forward to playing this. Looks kind of cool. It's a Atlas game, so I'm sure I'm going to love it. Next up, are you ready to dance? Because I am. It's Persona 4 Dancing All Night. And I do have the other case here. Oh, everything's falling away on me. 
I managed to nab this, as you can see, for $24.99, damn from 50 bucks. So, again, an awesome deal from EV Games on the Vita section that they had there. And this came with a uh, little skin for the Vita as well. Get a better idea of what it looks like there on the back. Uh, I have not put that on my Vita yet. I might not, but I'm thinking about doing it. I probably will do it eventually. But yeah, haven't played this yet. <laughs> haven't played Dungeon Travelers yet either. And the final Vita game that I got, this came out at the end of the month. Zero Time Dilemma, the ch final chapter in the Zero Escape series. Now, I haven't played 999. I do own it, but haven't really played it. And I have played a bit of uh, Zero Escape before. Uh, I bought that on the 3DS when it first came out. And because I didn't own a Vita at the time. Now, I bought a Vita. They gave it for free on that, so I owned the Vita version there. But I decided to go with the Vita version of Zero Time Dilemma for... Well, one reason I want to support the Vita as much as I can. Two, I don't really use my 3DS that much. Three, I like trophies. This gives me trophies. And the final reason was that the Vita version looked a lot more polished. It looks a lot cleaner. Uh, the character models look a whole lot better on the Vita version than it does on the 3DS version. Now, my whole, my whole dilemma with this game right now is... I really want to play it, but I never played through, like, essentially the first two games. So, before I dive into this one, I may go back and play 999 and Zero Time Escape all the way through. Maybe use guides if I have to, for some of the puzzles and whatnot. But, it may be a while before I get to this game. Let me know down in the comments below if I should just, you know, dive right into this one or if I really should go and play the other two games first. After listening to uh, Ben Moore from Easy Allies talk about it, I'm really thinking that I need to play the first two games first. He even suggested that. Alright, so let's dive into the PS4 games, the physical PS4 games that I've got in the month. First off, this one on sale, Ratchet & Clank. I fucking love Ratchet and Clank. I love the old school games. Cannot wait to dive into this one. Not much to say. Saw the movie. It was alright. Next up, this came out at the end of June. Haven't played this one. Haven't played the other ones either. And that is Star Ocean Until the End of Time. And this case just popped right open on me. Uh, I love the Star Ocean series, so really looking forward to playing this. And my nose got itchy there. Sorry. Um, so yeah, I'm looking forward to playing this. I think it's going to be really cool. And the final game, I had to get this day one without a shadow of the doubt because I fucking love it. Loved it on PS3. I bought the PC version as soon as that went on sale on Steam. So I had to get the PS4 version when they announced it because I love it. And that's Valkyria Chronicles Remastered. And this is a steelbook case. So I really, really dig the artwork on this as well. A little bit more on the back there. It's a really, really neat case. And I will probably be diving into this fairly soon. I've, I've been getting a real itch to replay it. So there you go. That's it for the games. We're going to do a little cutaway here. And I'll be right back with the comic books. I wasn't kidding when I said there was a lot of comic books to talk about. Which I haven't read any of these. So it's going to be really quickly to talk about them. Uh, first off, of course, first May, first May, first day in May was free comic book day, so we got ourselves some free comic books here. We got Serenity. We got Rom, the Space Knight. We got Civil War II, Prelude. And we got Steve Rogers, Captain America. Apparently he's a Nazi now. And the final one, I had to go a little bit DC. It's Suicide Squad with little Harley Quinn there on the front. So that was the free comic book day stuff. Now then, it's time for Rapid Fire. The Punisher, episode one. Issue one. Issue number three of Black Widow. Issue number 12 of Starfire. Issue number one. 
a Punisher Daredevil. Go watch Daredevil Season 2, by the way. Gwenpool, issue number one, or issue number two, sorry. Issue number seven of the Astonishing Ant-Man. I just realized a lot of these are going to be out of frame, so I'll just lean back like this. We have issue... Whoa. This is going to get... I should just do that. We got issue number... What issue number are you? I don't even see you around here. Ah, issue number 11 of Deadpool. Issue number and the final issue of Catwoman. So sad to see that one in. But it, my wallet is not. It's quite happy to be honest with you. We have issue number zero of Civil War 2. Deadpool, Last Days of Magic number one. Poison Ivy, The Cycle of Life and Death number five. Issue number eight of Guardians of the Galaxy. Issue number eight of Carnage. Issue number five of Spider-Man Deadpool. Issue number... Either I was confusing. Issue number 12 of Deadpool. A variant cover for issue number five of Captain Marvel. And that is the Horseman of Apocalypse variant. Really cool design there. We have issue number one of DC Rebirth, which was really awesome. A very great read. We have issue number six of six of Poison Ivy, The Cycle of Life and Death. Showdown with the Grim. We have issue number nine of Guardians of the Galaxy. We have issue number four of Black Widow. We have issue number two of Civil War Two. We have The Dark Knight Returns, The Last Crusade. We have issue number one of Deadpool v Gambit. We have issue number three of Gwenpool. We have issue number one. I bought this twice, apparently, but I got a different variant cover. It's Deadpool, The Last Days of Magic. That's me for you, buying comics twice. We have issue number nine of Carnage. Really dig this design. I really need to read that series. We have issue number two of Daredevil Punisher. We have issue number six and the final comic here, Spider-Man Deadpool. So there you go folks, that's the comics that I picked up in the months of May and June. Probably going to be cutting back a lot on the comics now simply because budget wise and the fact that my comic book shop has moved to the other side of town in which I need to get a bus, two buses there and two buses back. So bit of a pain in the arse to be quite honest with you but I'll, I'm going to try and keep going as long as possible probably not on a weekly basis anymore so that's going to happen but anyways that's it for the comics it's time to dive into the collectibles after a cutaway 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 okay first collectible now this is one thing that I was going to do a separate video on I actually did and I recorded it and the audio fucked up for whatever reason which I'm Fingers crossed that it doesn't for this episode or this video. But that was the Collector Corpse box for the month of June. This month was Women of Power. There's the badge, Spider Woman. Or there's the pin, I should say. There's the badge, Miss Marvel. The new Miss Marvel. A variant cover of Civil War II featuring the pop ladies of Marvel. We got ourselves a She-Hulk bobblehead. We got ourselves a Miss Marvel bobblehead. And the pop figure in the box was Squirrel Girl. 
There was a t-shirt as well, but I got that put away. I did laundry, folded it, put it away. So, sorry, you're not going to see the t-shirt. It's Gwenpool. If I find a picture, I'll throw it up here maybe. All depending on how lazy I want to edit this video. But uh, yeah, that was it for the Collector's Corp. And I do have some other stuff here, so... Maybe another cutaway is in order right now. Alright, next back to collectibles. First off, I got one of those Suicide Squad mystery minis, and I got the Joker out of it. Stupid damaged tattoo and all on there. Fucking hate that. So stupid. So, so stupid. Uh, as for the stuff that I got, first off, Miss Marvel Pop Vinyl. Saw this uh, just the other day when I went to the comic shop. Had to nab it. I love Carol Danvers so much. She's such an awesome character. So I had to, had to nab that one. That was a no-brainer for me. And speaking of Captain Marvel, I got this back in May as well from my comic book shop. It's a Diamond Select Captain Marvel statue. Kind of hard to see her there through the plastic. Uh, it's still sealed. I don't want to bust it open. So there you go. There's a look at how the statue is anyway on the back there. I saw this. I had to nab it. it was 60 bucks, but well worth it. Well, well worth it. So very, very happy to have this. Now, of course, it can't be a pickups video without some motherfucking amiibos, am I right? I went into Toys R Us. I saw this guy here. I had to nab him. Because I didn't get his Smash Brothers figure. But I got his Kirby Planet Robo figure. And that is Meta Knight. So, so fucking badass. I like Meta Knight as a character. I think he's cool. I think he's awesome. And... You know what? I'm going to keep this guy in the packaging. I, I was just thinking about popping him open, but I'm not going to do it. Now, also, the day that I went in and I saw that guy there, Toys R Us had a deal on. Buy an Amiibo. You get another one for free. But, of course, it was only one of four of the Animal Crossing ones. Three of these characters? No fucking idea who they were. The other one was Tom Nook. I didn't get Tom Nook. I'm not going to pay him rent. I did get Rover, this cat dude. I've never played an Animal Crossing. I have New Leaf for the 3DS, haven't played it. I bought it when it went on sale for like 20 bucks, but I haven't played it. So I have no idea who this character is, but I like cats. I think he's a cat. Maybe he's a dog. Maybe she's a dog. I don't know. But they look kind of cute. So I decided to nab him. And since I have no real connection with this character. And this was just like a spur of the moment purchase for me. I popped him out. And there we go. There he is. You guys should make this the thumbnail of the video. Just his face. I have no idea what this character does in Animal Crossing, so. Anyways, there you go. Kind of neat little base on there, too. So, I will not be buying Amiibo Festival to use that character anyway, so. There you go. And that, folks, does it for this pickups video. It's a long one. Thank you for watching. I've been Lord X. You've been awesome. And I will catch you next time. Hopefully I do just a singles video for July. I hope. Bye. Hi, how you doing? I work for Tom Nook. I'm going to break your legs if you don't pay the rent. Yes, sir. Yes, I am.